Hi there, I'm Jennifer Marshall with Red Carpet Report, and we're at the Beverly Hilton for the third annual Casa LA Gala. Scott, how are you? Great, how are you? I am so excited to talk to you. Thanks, I'm so excited to talk to you. Great. So, when you first started acting, of course I want to talk to you about being transgender, because I think that is an amazing, amazing thing that you did, and you kind of said, you know what, this is who I am, this is who I'm going to be, and, and too bad if you don't like it. So how was that when you first started acting, dealing with that issue? You know, it was uh, it was really rough actually because directors, even though they're so visionary, um, had a hard time putting me in roles. They were like, "Well, we don't. I know what you are," and it was really difficult. And um, so I made my own. I, I didn't get to go to Broadway. I didn't get to do any of those things. But I did get to tour the world with three different one man shows, and I sold out the National Theater of Belgium and France. And I mean, because they're like open minded there, you know what I mean? So yeah. so I had like a different experience. But it's all about your own authenticity and standing up in it and saying like, whatever I make. When I'm me, is going to be good, you know? Yes. Now, now, what do you think about that? I mean, there's literally five to ten transgender actors who are kind of opening that door for other transgender actors and for really for the public to be accepting of. You see the, you see people on TV who are struggling with, with this issue, so it kind of personalizes it and it makes people think, oh, well, well maybe it's not that, you know, uh, foreign of a concept because this person on this show is, this person on this show is. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, so the statistic is that only 8% of Americans say they know a transgender person, right? So, hi, now you know one, right? <laughs> right? Um, and that's why I think it's so important for all of the pioneers, the transgender pioneers, to be out there doing this. And, you know, I think about, like, what... I think it was Sidney Poitier who said, you know, he was one of the first black actors out there, you know, and he's like, this isn't really, really happening until there's a slew of us. And now there's a slew of us, you know, and, and I'm just so excited because, you know, the cause that we're here for tonight, you know, I, like, Court Appointed Special Advocates are, are angels. They really are. They're people who, like, help children be in safe places. And when we think about how many transgender and LGBT youth are, are homeless because their families will kick them out. You know, we need these people to really have their back and really understand, like, who they are and that they deserve a home and a family just like everybody else. So what would you say to, uh, to the CASA volunteers who do spend their time and do help these children? If you had to tell them, like, one or two sentences, what would you say? Read up on gender and sexuality and see the places where you're comfortable and not comfortable, and then ask for a story from one of your kids about who they are. And what would you say to the foster children who may be dealing with, uh, with an issue of sexuality, LGBT? Boy, um, I, I, I think to myself, like, what could I possibly say? Right? Um, it means so much more coming from you because you've been so successful and you've dealt with it. True, I've dealt with, I've dealt with, um, with being transgender, absolutely. But I, I also had, you know, my family was behind me all the way, and that is a is a privilege that you can't discount, you know, in this situation. But you know what? You know, I've worked with kids who are in the system in theater projects and theater summer camps and stuff like that. And I, I mean, you got this. I think that's what I would say is you got this. You got this, and I got your back. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Hey guys, it's been a blast. I'm Jennifer Marshall. Hit like, comment, subscribe, and leave a comment below with your favorite nonprofit or charity. See you soon.